you guys, I just recorded a whole video and it did not upload and it just deleted. I've got to figure this out. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I'm feeling defeated by YouTube. Um, hopefully this works because I do not want to have to repeat this a third time. I'm not going to. This has to work. Anyways, today's topic is going to be on, I should know, I just said it all. Um, feeling like you want to give up in recovery. Feeling like either just throwing in the bag, this isn't for you, or feeling like you can do it, but you need to start over and do it the right way because you've already gained too much weight and now, you know, if you lose it all, then you'll start the right way and actually start rewiring and like dropping your ed behaviors. Um, bad ideas. Those are all really bad ideas. However, I'd be lying if I didn't say that I thought about all those things in my own recovery. I think people think that I was like smooth sailing throughout my recovery and I was so courageous and I wasn't. Like I had a lot of struggles in days where I just was like, I can't do this. I can't do this for another day. I can't believe I'm doing this. And like I'd have these moments that felt so overwhelming. Like I'd be going really strong in my recovery, really good, feeling super confident. And then it would just crash like crazy out of nowhere this moment of just like complete and total terror of like what have I done what am I doing this is the worst idea over oh, oh my gosh I have to fix this I have to go back what can I do to change this oh my gosh I should just you know like if I just cut these little things out I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit I'm just gonna slow down I won't fully relapse but I want to slow down a little bit maybe if I just kind of stay here for a little while then I'll push back or maybe I do maybe I should lose weight and then start again and then I'll do it the right way because I didn't do it the right way before, even though I was, you know, like really actually trying my best to rewire. Why aren't I rewiring fast enough? I felt like the weight gain was coming on so much faster than my brain was catching up with. Um, so I would have these like panic attacks in recovery. And my best advice that I can give to you is talk to someone, a support, somebody that you truly trust that you've been to before that you know you can trust. Um, because I would start like entertaining these ideas and I'd get really worked up and really angry and I'd be crying and yelling sometimes and my husband would be the brunt of it and I'd just be like, I cannot believe that you've let me get this far. Like you're just sitting here watching me blow up like a balloon, eating all this food, saying nothing, like what in the world? And I would just go like crazy on him and I'd like be blaming all this on him. Like, why are you letting me do it this way? This is reckless. This is blah, blah, and I'd go all nuts and you just listen and be like, Becky, Honestly, you're happier than I've ever seen you, ever, since I've known you. And you're more present than I've ever seen you be with the kids. And you're way more fun and you're funny. You tell me these things. And, and I'd be like, but I'm irritable and I'm hungry and I'm always snapping at everyone. And I just feel he's like, yeah, but that's like, it was no different before you started recovery. Like, you were really irritable before, but now at least we see some like glimmers of fun and like laughing and excitement come out of you like you're living. And um, he just helped to kind of say the right things to kind of get me back in the right mindset because I was so tempted, so tempted to want to give up. Um, but what got me through was my commitment. What got me through was knowing that like I will not stop. I am not going to give up on this until I have given it my absolute all. Um, I think sometimes we... Um, we think that it's supposed to be, I mean, we don't, we know it's going to be rough and patchy, but we just underestimate how hard it's going to be. And we think that we have to have all the answers before we start, right? That's the contemplating and the thinking and the dwelling on maybe I should do this, maybe I shouldn't. Sorry, that's Hazel in the background. Um, and so it, it would be, I see this a lot, is this like, I need to have a game plan and I need to ha know how I'm going to cope with this change in my body and I need to know how I'm going to um, be able to like function in a bigger in a bigger body and I need to know where my body's going to end up I need to know that like someone needs to tell me how if this is going to for sure stop and where so that I can just wrap my head around it the unknown is terrifying right I hated the unknown and I still honestly do hate the unknown I especially hated it in recovery like not knowing what was going to happen to my body but even still like I don't I hate knowing like if we're gonna be moving somewhere, let's say, I just wanna know like where we're moving and when and what house we're getting and I'm an impatient person and the unknown floating around just terrifies me. So in recovery, it was really good for me to have to kind of challenge that. I'd say I'm better at dealing with the unknown now, but in recovery, it was terrifying and I hated it. The thing that I realized though is like, I'm not gonna have all the answers before I start. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get through 
watching my body change. I don't know how I will handle like outgrowing all of my clothes. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But all I do know is that I'm doing this and nothing's going to stop me. And luckily I figured out a way to cope with it, right? I somehow managed to get by day by day by day, continuing in the right direction. And I was kind of forced into figuring it out. But what happens is, and I see this all the time, and it's like the most beautiful thing I think in recovery is people will start to change and they are challenging things that they've never challenged. They've never worked so hard in their life at anything and their confidence starts to build and they start to feel really excited and happy. And strangely enough, they're more secure with who they are in this more recovered body than they ever were when they were sick. I see this happen time and time again. I'm gonna wrap this video up because I think it's gonna cut me off it's been cutting me off and it looks like it's about to. So anyways, do not give up. Do not run back. Keep going. It's okay to have the hard days. Talk to someone before you make any kind of crazy decision to do that. Don't feel like you have to run back to have a buffer to rewire. No, 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 no. Okay? No. It's okay to, okay to struggle. Pick yourself up. You'll be stronger from it and then just keep going. Okay, bye.